Uh, my name is Dr. Walton Smith. I'm a board certified uh, OBGYN with Fort Sanders Women's Specialists. And I'd like to take a few minutes today to talk a little bit about an area of interest of mine called bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. More specifically, uh, I'd like to also include some information about pellet therapy. One of the problems with bioidentical hormone replacement therapy is that a lot of folks don't really understand what we mean by that term and different physicians, different practitioners have different meanings. So in our practice, what we really mean is anything that we're putting in the body chemically matches the hormones that are already produced in the body. Uh, the hormones we utilize are derived from plant products, however they are manipulated by chemists and pharmacists, so from that standpoint they may not be truly natural, but inside the body they are identical to the hormones that are already being produced. So if we have an individual who comes to our practice who is having issues with what they may consider as hormone imbalance, uh, that could be somebody in and around menopause, that could be somebody uh, younger who is on birth control pills, uh, we like to consider options that might be able to help alleviate their symptoms. The symptoms that we commonly deal with in and around menopause especially classically are the hot flashes and night sweats. Uh, but a lot of women will also experience fatigue and tiredness, uh, muscle aches and pains. They'll notice that they've got a loss of muscle mass so their exercise is no longer gaining the same benefits that it may have 5, 10, 20 years ago. Uh, sometimes they'll also use a term called foggy brain which is when we kind of lose the ability to multitask or, or stay on task. Our patients, when they come in, we first go through a complete history. We try and determine any other factors that may be affecting their quality of life. Uh, that could be stress at work, stress at home, uh, raising children, uh, jobs, all kinds of things, uh, getting the kids here, getting the kids there. Other medical issues all can have some impact. We then draw laboratory values to measure the hormones. If it appears that the hormone uh, levels are consistent with the symptoms that a woman may be experiencing, then we discuss options. Uh, hormone replacement therapy is always optional. It's never something where medically we say you need to do this or have to do this, but if for quality of life issues somebody is wanting to uh, try and improve their quality of life, then hormone replacement therapy is one of the choices. Uh, no single hormone replacement therapy is effective for everyone, so we like to offer as many choices as possible. Obviously the first choice is not necessarily treating at all. Uh, going up from that, there are prescription medications that do fit the category of bioidentical. Uh, unfortunately, those do not necessarily include an important hormone called testosterone. Uh, then we can go on to compounded medications. There are creams that can be applied to the skin. Uh, there are creams that can be utilized vaginally. And probably one of the best forms of hormone replacement therapy is pellet insertion. Now for our patients, when we talk about hormone replacement, uh, I really like to consider a couple of important concerns. Most women are concerned about the potential for blood clots and stroke, and most women are concerned about any potential for an increase in the risk of breast cancer. What we have discovered is that if we utilize transdermal forms of estrogen, what that means is either a patch or a gel, something that's used vaginally or a pellet where the hormone goes directly from the skin into the bloodstream and therefore bypasses the liver, then we do not increase the risk of thromboembolic disease. Thromboembolic disease is blood clots and strokes. So automatically if we use the right form of estrogen, we already have a safer form of estrogen. The bigger issue for many women then is does this increase the risk of breast cancer? Unfortunately right now the medical literature is uh, not clear cut on that. There are studies in the U.S. that do associate 
hormone replacement therapy with a slight increase in the risk of breast cancer. However, those treatments have all included a progestin uh, that is not truly bioidentical. In other words, it's not the same as what the body produces. If we look at European literature, and again, these are very large studies and appear to be well done, where they do tend to use more uh, natural or bioidentical hormones, they don't actually show any increased risk in the rate of breast cancer in their literature. So it's one of the areas that is somewhat controversial. Um, hormone replacement therapy is never 100% safe. There are some slight risks, but it does appear that if we choose the proper type of hormones, then we can minimize any of those potential risks. Testosterone, uh, specifically, is a very important hormone for women. Uh, testosterone therapy is one that is a little more challenging. Uh, we do have to measure the levels uh, to monitor the dosing. And obviously, if we use too much testosterone, we can have unwanted side effects. Those side effects might include things like acne, uh, darkening uh, of the hair, unwanted facial hair or hair on the arms. Uh, it can even include loss of hair on the head, such as male pattern baldness. Now, those symptoms are quite commonly related to the dose of the testosterone. So if we're careful with our dosing and monitoring our levels, then we can typically utilize the hormone without causing any negative side effects. Currently, testosterone is not FDA approved for use in women. However, it is completely legal to utilize. So if we're going to use testosterone, we do have to have it compounded by a pharmacy. Uh, the pharmacies we utilize are regulated by the State Board of Pharmacy. Uh, they, go under, they undergo very stringent uh, testing. Uh, the pellets and the hormone therapies that we utilize uh, are monitored very carefully. Testosterone is considered a controlled substance and therefore uh, we do have to monitor the levels and um, see our patients every six months for close follow-up to ensure that they're not having any negative side effects. Um, once we determine that a patient may benefit from hormone replacement, we then decide which therapy might be best for their lifestyle. That could include medications that are covered by insurance, that could include compounding creams where all the hormones are mixed together, and that can also include pellet therapy. Pellet therapy is probably the most physiologic. What we mean by that term is that the pellets most closely mimic how the body normally produces and utilizes hormones. Uh, pellets look like two small grains of rice that are inserted under the skin, usually on the side of the rear end. It's a approximately five minute procedure. We do anesthetize the skin and typically do not need to utilize any stitches but close the little stab wound with a steri strip. The hormone pellets are convenient because most of our patients only have to have pellet insertions every four months to sometimes five months. All of our hormone replacement options at Fort Sanders Women's Specialist are monitored. Once we initiate hormones, all of our patients will return for follow-up. We like to repeat the levels at that point and make sure that the symptoms are improved and that the levels are in a safe range. I would like to emphasize that hormone replacement does not fix everything. Uh, there are still stresses in life, there are still medical issues, and so we try and get somebody at the best levels. We try and get them feeling as best as we can, uh, realizing that sometimes life itself makes uh, us not feel as good as we want. We certainly encourage all of our patients to eat well, exercise routinely, and certainly we encourage certain supplements because if we maximize our hormone replacement therapy without maximizing our lifestyles, then we are never going to completely alleviate all of our symptoms. Thank you very much.